Last week I talked about my experience performing the national anthem at Dodger Stadium, which was absolutely awesome. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. It's it's got some interesting, you know, kind of tidbits in there about what it's like to perform at a big stadium. But what I noticed after I did that, number one, it opened a lot of doors to be able to perform at other places, you know, minor league teams. I've performed at several different minor leagues. Um, it's not like I was pursuing this. I just thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun to go to a, a baseball game for free, you know? So I, I did that a few times. One time was really hot. So I was like, hmm, maybe this wasn't a good choice. But anyway, because of this, I actually became known as this person that sings the national anthem. And I kind of built some other things around that to present a 4th of July related program to a lot of different groups because there's a lot of groups out there, especially community groups that are looking for special programs. And so I'm like, oh, I've got my Valentine's program, I've got my holiday program, I've got my Mother's Day program. Why not a 4th of July program? So, you know, of course I live in the US. So I came up with this idea that I would sing several different um, America, you know, focused kinds of songs. Um, America the Beautiful, maybe My Country Tis of Thee. I can't remember the other ones that I did, um, but along with the national anthem and people loved it. Like they would invite me to come and perform at community luncheons. Uh, I sang the national anthem for several things like the LA Marathon and like other special um, events for, you know, different community organizations. And I just kind of became known as the person around town that you call oh I did a rodeo one time like you know there's all these things that I, and I got written up in the newspaper a few times for singing the national anthem and then that just kind of fed into it and whenever I gave out my flyer as an artist I would always highlight you know there I have a fourth of July program and so it, it was really cool because it, it became kind of one of the things that I was known for and that is something really important to do as an artist is to be known for certain kinds of things, either expertises or certain kinds of programs. So when people think, oh, I need somebody to sing the national anthem. I need somebody to do, uh, you know, a, a love songs program. I need somebody to do a 4th of July program. You are the name that pops into their head. That's what you need to be able to do as an artist to become the preeminent person in your local area or even online. And then the word gets out be, you know, from the performances that you do and any kind of press that you get. Uh, like I got that call about the rodeo because they saw something in the newspaper about me singing the national anthem somewhere else. So you never know what kind of cool gigs you're gonna get when you get that kind of press around something and you become known for something. And then I started being asked to sing for military things because I was known for the national anthem. They started asking me to sing you know, the the Navy hymn and things like that. And I sang it like funerals for, you know, naval officers and, and the Coast Guard and all these cool things that opened up to me just because I became known as someone who sings the national anthem and I became known as somebody that sings patriotic music. 